Here's my husband's van. Well, we're going to go to Cannon Beach and to Cola Seafoods and probably get the halibut chips. And then we've got a grocery list, so we're going to go to the Safeway and Seaside, get just a little bit of gas, but mostly just lay around, read books, take a nap, do different things. Important things like that. Important things like that. Because we're letting go of what? We're letting go of stress in my life. And we're letting go of having to work every day. <laughs> this is our okay, camp. Okay, bye for now. Bye for now. This is our camp. This is our little tent area. Bicycles, tent. Oops, I left the car door open. Place to eat, read books. So that, that's about what we're going to do today. And there's a crow. Can you hear the crow? Sometimes they wake us up in the morning. That's the woods behind us. When the sun's out, which I'll show you in a minute, so it'll come back out. It's very beautiful. Okay. Oops. Now that we're up here, how are we going to get down? <laughs> this is our friend Kim. That's cute. It's cute. Oh, it's a, it's a video. It's a little flip camera. Cute. Yeah. It doesn't do too bad. Let's see. see. Oops. Oh, no. oh yeah. yeah. That's great. My brother got one for Katie to take on her trip. You sure you don't want just a little? Be absolutely. All I need is to be a little less. See, this is some liquid courage here, Kim. Oh, thanks. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to myself. This is just, scary. I, I mean, this is so scary. I'm not a coordinated person. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, I'll yeah. when I get down. This is on yeah, the beach. Okay. So here's Stan. Chardonnay. <laughs> Chardonnay at the top of this thing. Okay, there's... And then we freehand the rock climb down. Yeah. Okay, see where those guys are coming that way? Is that where that guy, does he have to climb back up to the water? I don't think so. See, he's, I think he went down. He just... Because he said he, he said he climbed up this way, and so he, he's taken it down. I think it goes... It came up and you could go that way or this way. We're trying to figure out how to get down now. So... Yeah, that trail didn't look all that good at the bottom, though. And this is me looking like... <laughs> this is how I feel right now. <laughs> at least going through that forest, you got all kinds of stuff to grab onto. Yeah, and then we'll be in the shade again. I mean, okay. Okay, look guys. at that's what Manzanillo looks like. And then um, this little town, kind of right over... In here, mm -hmm. it's called um, New Halem. New Halem? Is that New Halem or is that Wheeler? Which one's that one? Oh, I'm not sure. And it's got a little. Just for a minute. Okay, now we're walking back down the hill. <laughs> I think we're crazy. But we made it. And going back down is a lot easier. I'm saying it's old growth forest. And it's really nice and cool because up there on the top of the hill it was just all sun beating down on us, which was really nice. But it got a little hot there. But that could have just been my sheer terror. Anyway, this is the forest that we're in. We're going to walk down the hill to our car and take a picture of this where you can see it better. Okay, be back in a minute. Deer over here by the bathroom. It'd be amazing.
anyway, this is just a little path back to our camp. And I saw Tara over here. Look, there she is. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> she looks a little startled. Oh, or he, I don't know. Oh, see, I scared him just by moving fast. Oh, for him, amazing. And the other one is over there in that person's front camp. You can see that, but oh no, you're just so beautiful. Yes, you are so pretty. Oh, you're just so pretty. Okay, well, I got your picture. I'll let you get back to eating. Bye. Have a nice life. In the Halen Bay, we'll miss ya. <laughs> She's checking me out. <laughs> They're not even afraid of us. Because yeah. of the rain Okay, see you later. See you later. Have a good life. I can't face the leaves. She's so pretty, but I better so she can get back to eating. How am I supposed to drink this wine if there's a bee in it? And I kind of feel sorry for this bee. But what a way to go, huh? I mean, jeez. That poor little guy. Should I let him go? But if I let him go, will he be totally drunk? I think I'm going to let him go here in a second. I just wanted to see how pretty it is in the sunlight here. The sun is shining. Broke through the clouds. Very beautiful. Yesterday from here, went down that little path. Of course, I didn't have my flip camera out and ready. It's just so pretty here in the sunshine. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to let this bee not drown to death. I don't know if you've ever seen an intoxicated bee before, but this poor little guy, I let him out of the cup. <laughs> He's trying to make his way over to the sanity. I don't know. I wonder if he'll fly again. I mean, the poor little guy is probably just totally drunk. A drunk bee. <laughs> He's doing a tightrope on these things here. You know, poor little thing. I mean, he just kind of fell into my little wine cup. Do you think you're going to be okay, bee? I kind of feel sorry for him. Dry out, you gotta dry out. I kinda like to see him fly and see if he kinda warbles. <laughs> he doesn't know which direction he's going. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay. He's probably doing a little bit of grooming. Then I'll leave him there in peace. How's that? Okay. Can I go back to reading my book? <laughs>